Hi everyone, welcome to a new devlog. In this episode, we will see the integration of the Quest system with the dialog and the first designs for the Quest UI. So let's get started. The integration between the two systems was pretty straightforward. Here, you can see an overview of the functionality. We will approach the NPC and click on the interaction button to talk to him. Here, I will add the typical message, press E or triangle to talk to the NPC. When the NPC starts the dialogue, we have some options. And based on the conversation, we activate or not the quest. Once activated, we can go to the general UI and go to the quest log to see what new quests have been activated or updated. To achieve all of this, I simply had to disable the activation of all quests that happen by default when starting the game. So I could activate the quest according to the progress. On the other hand, in the dialogue system, I had to create a way to assign quests to dialogues. So NPCs can give quests based on the conversation. Thanks to this variable, we can assign quests to dialogues. As you can see here, we activate the quest easily with a task just for this answer. Obviously, this dialog is a bit silly, but it has me to work on the functionality and show you how it works. Having the quest system more developed, uh, I started to design the UI for the quest log. As you can see, I have divided the design into, in two parts, the quest list and the details. In the left part, where we list the quest, we can see main quest and secondary quest that will be shown when clicking on their corresponding tabs. In the list, we can see the name of the quest and the number on the right means the number of subquests that the quest has and how many have been completed. Quests in gray indicate that they have been successfully completed. When we click on the quest, either main or secondary, we can see its description and subquest with details to help us complete them. This is the first design and will probably evolve, maybe making it more visual and adding icons for each quest. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please leave me a comment below. Thanks to your feedback, the design improves greatly. And that was all for this week. I hope to show more progress for the next devlog. I publish a new video every Monday. Be sure to click on the little bell to be notified and not miss any episode. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and leave comments with suggestions or other things you would like to see. As always, thank you very much for watching and have a great week.